and we are back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to put your face at the bottom corner of your footage. This is often used in response or commentary videos. I've got this simple clip right here and the bottom right corner is a good fit. For this clip let me drag it on top so at the bottom of video channel 1 we've got this travel clip and the commentaries on video channel 2. Let me cut it you see the cut tool for that and now I need effect controls if you can see it go to window effect controls and we need opacity let's click on one of these icons we'll use a circle but you could also let me press ctrl z you could also use a rectangle like this so the process is the same but we're going to stick to the circle to create a mask let us go down with the feather to zero so we have sharp edges and you can simply drag these corner points of the ellipse and this transforms it. Now let me run the clip. And this is almost what we want to have, but we need to reposition it now. If you select the mask and go to the center, you get this hand icon and you can reposition the mask. But if you want to reposition the entire footage, you have to go to motion and position. Just play around with these values. I want to put it to the bottom right corner. Maybe it's a little bit too big, so let me scale it down. R60 uh, is too small, I would say. I'm going to stick to 80. 80 was fine. I'll keep that. If you scale it up and down, you'll have to reposition it slightly afterwards. And now if we roll the clip again, we basically have what we wanted to have. Or we can also add kind of like a border to it. Let me show you one way to create it. Just right click in the project menu, new item, and we use the color mat. Don't worry about the size right here. I'll keep the default and let me make it white. It's important to put it in between the travel footage and the commentary footage. So the travel is on video channel 1, this white color mat on video channel 2, and on video channel 3 we now have the commentary. Make sure that it has the same duration as your other two clips and then create a mask for that as well. So you can see I've got the color matte element active and I click on this ellipse to create a mask for it. Then just reposition it and you can also drag these anchor points of the color matte mask. Go down with the feather to zero to have sharp edges and this is basically it. If you want to scale the mask down, so the border in this case, keep in mind that you'll have to reposition that afterwards as well. So it's much better to just drag these anchor points in the preview window because it's much easier to achieve the effect that you want to have. As I've said, the procedure is the same for when you want to use a square footage for your commentary. And this is how you can put your commentary footage on top of your regular footage to create these response and commentary videos. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.